Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another hop video for you for Tracy. This is for the All Is Bright collection. So you will also find that there is a second video on my channel that comes up exactly the same time as this one. That one uses the All Is Calm collection. For my project today, I really wanted to play with this these three papers. I did the same thing I did with the All Is Calm collection. Just printed out um, a little bit of a page kit for myself. I'm going to be documenting our first snowfall, which was in November this year. I don't know that we've had snow as early as October though, so it's not as bad as October. <laughs> I also showed you those cute little canvas flare from Scrap and Happy Studios. Those are going to add a little bit of not paper embellishment to my layout today. I have printed three patterned papers. The one with all the snowflakes is going to be our background and I'm going to go ahead and mat my photo with the other two papers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create kind of like some messy layers with some torn edges around my photo and I'm going to ink all of the edges with some hickory smoke distress oxide ink. I'm gonna go ahead and use my, these die cut letters from iCrafter to create my own title and I'm gonna use that kind of solid pink paper there. I matched it, color matched it up with some of my other elements that are gonna be on this layout to make sure it would be a really nice match for my project. I knew that I really wanted to use this really patterned snowflake paper as my background, which means I have to keep my layout pretty simple. Uh, so what I'm going to do is my photo is in black and white and it's a very calm photo. And then my um, embellishments that I've chosen are white with just a little bit of color. Again, choosing calm elements from the collection so that I can kind of quite easily layer them up behind my photo to create this layout and have the background paper be um, visible and really, really, you know, almost not too busy, right? Wouldn't break it up a little bit. So for my title, you can see here I have sized some of my embellishments this tag and the circles. I sized them myself in Canva so I created my own die cut sheets because I wanted them to be a certain size. I wanted them to be a little bit chunkier than they are um, when you just print them out on the sticker sheet. I am going to layer the tag and the circle together and then put my uh, die cut letters on those pieces and use those as my title. One of the coolest things for me in hybrid scrapbooking is the ability to resize elements and make them as big or as small as you want. And the ability to fill an eight and a half by 11 page with all the flowers you could possibly desire and then having all the flowers or all the snowflakes. Uh, one of my absolute favorite ways of um, creating hybrid layouts. And I just design those kinds of die cut sheets in Canva. I just pull in the individual files that I want to use, place them on an eight and a half by 11 canvas and print them out. And they always turn out fabulous. So you can see here how I am kind of tucking these snowflakes in and around my photo. I'm going to kind of put the photo in the center and have the snowflakes and all of my other elements kind of um, clustered around into the top left and the bottom right. I'm going to use my T-square ruler to get a really nice straight picture onto my page here exactly where I would like it. And now 
I want to add some things onto my page that aren't paper. This is always something that I like to do uh, when I'm creating with a digital collection or scrapbooking hybrid. I like to make sure to add something that's a little bit of dimension, a little bit of something that's not paper. I do that with most of my layouts. I really like the addition of uh, some dimension and something uh, that isn't paper. So for this one, I'm going to definitely be adding those canvas flares. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a little detail to each of the snowflakes right at the end. Right now I'm kind of thinking about how I want to stamp my date. That's kind of like a big important part of this particular layout is to make sure to put the date of the first snow that we get every year. This is a layout that I will make in all of my family albums. I do the same thing with fall. I really enjoy documenting when the seasons change in my family's album. For a little bit of extra detail, I love little details. Details are like my favorite thing when I'm creating a layout. So for a little extra detail, I'm going to take three different shades of, um, well, one of them is a uh, liquid enamel dots from uh, Close to My Heart, and then the other two are Nouveau Drop colors. So what I'm doing is putting a lovely color of Nouveau Drop into the middle of each and every one of the snowflakes on my pattern paper. So I did white, and then I did blue, and I did each color about a third of the pattern paper. So a third white, a third blue, a third brown, and every single snowflake has this beautiful uh, color in the center of it, dimensional and fun. I love how this turned out. It turned out so cute. And you'll be able to see it in the sneak peeks at the end. Be sure to check out the description box for all the links that you will need to hop along and check out all the projects with Tracy's two new collections. Have a wonderful, wonderful day to all of you, and I will see you again soon. Bye!